I came to Epworth from pre-primary in the yellow group until I was in matric. I had the best days at Epworth. We had so much fun, pretty much like what you have now. When I was at Epworth, I was lucky because my brother could also come, come to Epworth. He was one of the first boys to go through to grade seven. When I was at Epworth, we didn't have hard lunch boxes to sit on at break time. We had soft lunch boxes. They were red with an Epworth badge and we used to have to sit on the grass. When I was at Epworth, we had a purple assembly room. When I was at Epworth, we also used to go to chapel every Wednesday. When I was at Epworth, I sang in the choir. And at the Easter service, the choir used to walk down the centre aisle with candles. And we used to sing the same song every year. Some of the teachers that are still at Epworth taught me. So if you are in grade four or if you are in grade seven, then maybe you and I share a teacher. The best thing about being part of Epworth is that the family that you have school is always in your life. And some of my friends from school are still my best friends today. I have one friend that I made when I was four years old in the yellow group. And today she is still a very, very good friend of mine. I arrived at the beginning of grade six and I remember going on a tour with the principal who wasn't Mr. White. Her name was Mrs. Lawrence and she was a tiny little lady. I remember walking past the assembly room and hearing the most beautiful singing. I couldn't believe that all the children from this school could sing so well and the memory of the school singing has always stayed with me. I was feeling excited to join this amazing school. Grade 6 classroom was Mrs. Pennyfather's classroom and I remember hiding in the stockroom and giggling with my friends. I was a bit of a clown at that age and loved to be playful and silly, so much so that I slipped and fell in the classroom one day and sprained my arm. I remember swimming in the school gala with this sore arm. My teacher's name was Mrs. Harwin and she could do cartwheels which fascinated me because I would never have thought that a teacher could do cartwheels. I loved the happy factor in Epworth and the friendly vibe and this has never changed for me. It wasn't a very long time ago that I was at Epworth. Things that you all see around school were very much the same for me. There are a few additions though. We didn't have the big and beautiful PAC or the new and improved smart board rooms and computer rooms. The indoor center was built as I got here. So luckily I got to experience that just like you all do. Where the ballet room, smart board room and computer room are used to be the primary school boarding house. A computer room was in a very small room in the library and it took forever for the internet to work. We did not have any computers in our classrooms, but the first smart boards arrived when I was only in grade seven. Epworth is still a very special place for me. Some of my teachers still teach here and it just feels like I have never left. And aren't we all just so lucky that we get to be a part of such a wonderful family. Happy birthday, Epworth. When I was at Epworth High School, some of you weren't even born yet. The media center was the geography classroom, the geography classroom was the science lab, and the science lab was a lecture theater. Our formal white dresses had pleats and a belt. The Haley Hall was next to netball courts. There was no big fancy PAC back in the day. There were only computers in the media center, not in the classrooms, and there was definitely no Wi-Fi. If you wanted to go online, you had to wait for a telephone line to dial you in. No one had smartphones, and there was no such thing as a D6. With all the things that have changed over the years, I'm so grateful that certain special Epworth things have stayed the same. The blue and white checked school dresses, the chapel, the purple jacaranda flowers, the energy levels when there's a school play, 
and the smiles that radiate across the campus, even though those smiles are hidden by masks at the moment. Despite the changes, one thing has stayed the same, and that is that Epworth is definitely the place to be. When I was at Epworth a very long time ago, we only had girls in grade seven, and I had an awesome teacher, Mrs. Purgita. I still have the, the textbook that we used for maths back in the day. When I was at Epworth, there were two grade seven classes and one of every other class, and there were only girls in the senior primary. We still swam in the swimming team, but some of us had to wear our swimming costumes in our photos. We still sang in the choir, but we wore choir robes. Our skirts for Nepal were blue and our shirts were white and we got slices of oranges at half time in matches. When I was at Epworth, even though things looked a little different, we had great teachers and had lots of fun at break time, just like we do now. One other change is that there was no canoeing as a sport and I kind of wish there had been. I love Epworth because even though lots of changes happened, the heart of the school was the same. Happy birthday Epworth! How sport has changed since I was here at Epworth in the high school. There wasn't soccer in the third term, we all did athletics instead. Neither of the indoor centres had been built. Our change rooms next to the pool was a whitewashed building with shorter walls and we'd look over the walls and chat to each other while changing after each lesson. There was no AstroTurf, so twice a week we would run to the AstroTurf at AB Jackson to train and then matches all day Saturday. Canoeing had only just started in the high school. You could do rock climbing on the back of the Haley Hall but otherwise sport was as it is now. When I was at Epworth, it was a very long time ago, and the buildings were very different back then. My old grade 3 classroom, Mrs. Barnch's classroom now, was the girls' toilet. Mrs. Stewart's grade 2 classroom was the assembly room, and Miss Cornelia's grade 2 classroom was the library. We also weren't allowed on the fields at break time, so the whole school played behind the grade 1 classrooms. There was no big library there. There were lots of jungle gyms and swings, and that was our playground. And you have some of the same jungle gyms I had 35 years ago. They were moved from behind the library and put down on your playground by the field and given a new coat of paint. Those jungle gyms are very old. Some of us also used to ride our bikes to school every day from home. I used to ride to school because we lived close by and there was a bike rack on the side of the school where we kept our bikes and after school we would ride home again. When I was at Epworth we also had boarders. So if you were in grade 1 or grade 2 or grade 3 right up to grade 7 you could be a boarder and live at the school during term time. So the ballet room which is a grade 5 classroom now had lots of beds in it. The smart board room, which is also a grade 5 classroom now, was a bathroom. And Mr. McKing's computer room had more beds in it. And that was senior boarding upstairs. Junior boarding was downstairs with more beds and a homework room. Then when you're on boarding, you need somewhere to eat. So can you guess where the dining room was? It was in our assembly room in the pre-primary. And the orange group classroom next door was the kitchen, a really big kitchen. So some of the things were the same. We had the chapel and the big swimming pool, but a lot of things have changed. One thing that hasn't changed is my love for Epworth. This was a very special place for me to go to school, and it is still a very special place to be. When I was at Epworth High School, from 1994 to 1998. It was a much smaller school in number of pupils than it is today. We only had two classes per grade in the high school, and now there are three. My class, by the time we reached matric, we were around 30 girls. We were very fortunate to be the matric class for the centenary year, which is when Epworth turned 100 years old, and it was a very exciting year. The school today, although there are more buildings, is every bit as beautiful as it was then. The highlight of my school career is how Epworth transformed me into more of who I am and helped me to discover all the things that I am passionate about. That was achieved through the love and care I received from the amazing teachers that I had. 
We had teachers who inspired our interest in subjects, especially for me, my interest in geography and the world around me and my love of nature. We did amazing trips all around the country and we even traveled to Zimbabwe and Botswana on geography tours. Epworth is still a special place and the love and care for every pupil is as, as tangible now as it was when I was here. When I was at Epworth Prep many, many years ago, one of the major differences is that there were only boys in grade one, two and three. After grade three, the boys had to leave to go to another school. We also only had one class per grade and so the school was much smaller. Mrs. P, Mrs. Pohita was my grade seven class teacher and we all loved her. Actually, we all still do. One of the very special things about Epworth is that even though so much has changed in the 32 years since I started at Epworth in grade six, I'm still friends with many of the girls in my class. They live all over the world, Australia, England, Cape Town. And so even though we can't see each other very often, we still message on birthdays and maybe one day, I hope, we will have a big reunion. I was even at school with some of your teachers, Mrs. Van Royen, Mrs. Liefeld and Mrs. Domlio were all at Epworth at the same time as me. And so it's so very special for me to work at Epworth now and to work with them, to be at the school that I love and that has played such a big role in my life. I feel so lucky to come to Epworth each day and to continue learning and growing with all of you. Let us pray. Lord, as we look back on the past 122 years of our school, we stand amazed at your faithfulness to us, the love and compassion you have poured out on each of us and our school, and the courage of the many girls and boys, men and women who have journeyed through the gates of Epworth. And now, O oh God, you ask us to journey forward in faith with compassion and courage, the faith to trust in your promises, and the compassion and courage to share. Those of us who have plenty, help us to share with those who have need. May we share joy and happiness with those who celebrate and share tears with those who are hurting or sad. May we share our friendship with all who feel left out and may we stand up for what is right and fair. Lord, in some small way, may our faith our compassion and our courage help to bring your promises into being in our world, that your kingdom would come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen.